Hello my lovely Vidya students how are you all I hope you all are safe and healthy at home Students today I your SST teacher is here with another video for revision of chapter number 2 landforms of the earth Before starting the video I want to know that have you read your chapter very nicely I guess yes yes Okay students if you read your chapter very nicely then you will be able to answer my questions my first question is what do we mean by landforms means what is the meaning of landforms landforms are actually the different forms of land different types of land or we can say the physical natural and geographical features of the earth surface okay students for example if i visit hill station there the land is elevated when i visit rajasthan the land is sandy right so what is the difference between the two lands there is variation between two lands so in the same manner when we visit different places there is variation in the landforms and this variation of landforms makes our earth diverse okay students my second question to you is that how these landforms are formed means which two processes are responsible for the formation of landforms and the answer is there are two processes which are responsible for landforms number 1 is endogenous processes number 2 is exogenous processes okay students my next question is what do we mean by endogenous processes endogenous processes means the activities or the processes that occur inside the earth for example earthquake landslide volcano volcanic eruption right these all are the processes or the activities that occurs inside the earth jo dharti ke andar hoti hain right next is exogenic processes or the exogenic forces the exogenic processes are the processes that occur on the earth surface jo dharti ke upar hoti hain theek hai and which are the agents that are responsible for the exogenic forces or the exogenic processes wind weathering erosion right these all are the agents water air and the weather these all are the agents that are responsible for the exogenic processes okay that occurs on the earth surface and these two processes are responsible for the formation of different kinds of landforms okay next is question is that which are the two categories of landforms there are two categories of landforms na what are these two categories of landforms so the answer is major landforms and minor landforms okay there are two categories of landforms on the basis of size so one is major landforms that covers the major part of the earth and second is minor landforms that covers the minor parts of the earth theek hai so first of all you need to tell me the major landforms tell me few example of major landforms so the answer is mountains plateaus and plains okay these are the major landforms and give me the example of minor landforms minor landforms include deserts islands peninsulas capes isthmus straits etc and so on right so first of all we will discuss about the major landforms okay so in major landforms you need to define what do we mean by mountain mountains kise kehte hain to mountains we will define in the points okay first of all the elevation 
mountains are actually the rocky masses that rises very high from the surrounding earth surrounding earth se bahut zyada unchai par hote hain their height is very high even the highest land form on the earth is the mountain theek hai to what do we mean by mountain mountains are actually the rocky masses that have steep sloping sides they are very high from the surrounding land and they are always in the groups mountains kabhi bhi akele nahi hote they are always in groups so the groups of mountains or the interconnected chains of mountains are known as the mountain ranges mountain ranges can be young or old okay and the tip of the mountain matlab parvat ki choti the tip of the mountain is known as the peak theek hai the tip of the mountain is known as the peak so what we had revised about the mountain number 1 mountains are the rocky masses that are very high from the surrounding land okay second they are always in group or interconnected chains and these interconnected chains of mountains are known as mountain ranges mountain ranges can be young or old okay the tip point the tip of the mountain are known as the peaks okay now let's discuss about the difference between the mountains and hills what are the difference between the mountains and hills mountains and hills seems like same but they are totally different how they are totally different number 1 if we discuss about the height to mountains are very high but the hills are not that much high they are less in height okay mountains have peaks but the hills have rounded top right they don't have peaks next it is very easy to climb on the hills but it is very difficult to climb on the mountains i hope this is clear to you all okay students my next question is what do you mean by pass pass kise kehte hain to pass is actually the gap or the path between the mountain ranges as you can see on your screen pass is actually providing the gap between the mountain ranges a narrow path hota hai that is pass could you tell me the famous path that connects india and china that is nathula pass which is in sikkim jo ki sikkim mein hai aur ye india ko china se connect karta hai in north direction right so that is nathula pass my next question is plateau what do we mean by plateau plateau is actually our second major landform right they are the highlands but they are flat at top they are highlands but flat at top flat hote hain they are table like structures okay and they have rich reserves of minerals yahan par minerals paaye jate hain right plateau plateaus are actually the highlands which are table like structure they are flat at top okay could you tell me any two famous plateaus one is deccan plateau and one is tibetan plateau right deccan plateau and tibetan plateau now there is very interesting fact about the deccan plateau let me tell you do you know that deccan plateau is actually the oldest plateau in the world yeah right 
it is the oldest plateau in the world and the tibetan plateau is the highest plateau in the world which is in kaha hai tibetan plateau in himalaya range right tibetan plateau is the highest plateau and which is in the himalayan range next question is plains what do we mean by plain plains kya hota hai as the name suggest plains are the flat land which are very fertile up my question arises that why plains are fertile do you know why plains are fertile because the rivers that comes from the mountains and flows in the plain they deposit the nutrients they deposit the natural sediments there which makes the soil fertile they deposit the silt right and the, that silt makes the plain fertile okay so plains are actually the flat land or the fertile region right my next question is what do we mean by valley kisi kehte hain valley is actually the low land but plains are all also the low land but plains are not valley so what is the difference between the plains and valley let me explain plains are the flat lands right but valley are the valleys are the low land between the two hills or the mountains and do you know the river valley is v shaped as you can see in the picture river valleys are v shaped okay valleys are actually the lower land between the lower land between the hills or the mountains okay my next question is what is the difference between the plains and plateaus plains are the flat land but plateaus are the large highlands right but they are flat at the top plains are fertile but plateaus have rich reserves of minerals okay next is delta what do we mean by delta kya hota hai delta to so let me tell you as we read in the chapter in the beginning that river just get sediments and the silt right and it deposit the silt or the sediments at some places okay and at that places they make the landform do you know which landform is this which landform it is it is delta so what do we mean by deltas deltas are actually the landform that is formed by the rivers that carry the sediments and the silt okay and get deposited at the mouth of the river aur us place ko hum bolte hain delta and could you tell me which is the largest delta in the world sundarban delta yes you are right the delta which is formed by the river ganga and river brahmaputra is the largest delta in the world which is named as sundarban delta okay my next question is what do we mean by deserts deserts kya hote hain so the deserts are actually the sandy area i can say which has sand all over the places right could you tell me uh, which desert lies in india thar desert and where it is rajasthan that's nice in rajasthan there is thar desert which is extremely dry land okay why they why these are dry land because there is less rainfall 
and due to less rainfall there is no vegetation at all there are only the bushes and and the cactus right so these dry lands are known as the deserts could you tell me which animal is known as the ship of deserts tell me camels that's right why camels are known as the ships of uh, deserts because they can survive without water for so many days right and they can travel there so that's why camels are known as the ships of deserts because they can survive in that climate deserts have actually the hot climate okay and which is the world's hottest desert come on tell me and the name is sahara desert sahara desert is actually the world's hottest desert okay biggest very good now there is another landform which occurs in the deserts what do we mean by these landforms these are sand dunes right now what do we mean by sand dunes sand dunes are actually the hills formed by the loose sand jaise wahan par hawa bahut tez chalti hai na to hawa jo hoti hai wo sand ko uda uda kar is tarah se hills ki form mein bana deti hai and these hills of loose sands are known as the sand dunes okay and we can found sand dunes in the deserts only okay and deserts can be cold at night and hot in the morning next is what do we mean by coast my next question is what do we mean by coast coast is actually the place where the sea meets the land theek hai jahan par samudra jo hota hai wo dharti se milta hai that is the coast okay as you can see our southernmost part of india have the coastal plains because they meet with the sea at that side right to coast is the land or is the place where the land meets the sea and what do we mean by coastline to coastline ka matlab hota hai the boundary the boundary where the sea meets the land wo ek line jahan par जो समुद्र होता है वो धरती से मिलता है दैट इज नोन एज द कोस्ट लाइन ओके स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू गेट टू नो नेक्स्ट इज योर आइलैंड एंड पेनिनसुला टेल मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द आइलैंड एंड द पेनिनसुलर्स तो आइलैंड आर एक्चुअली द पीस ऑफ लैंड विच इज कवर्ड बाय द वॉटर ऑल अराउंड which is covered by the water all around that is known as the island right that is known as the island hmm could you tell me one name of any island sri lanka that is connected to india right sri lanka is an island lakshadweep is a group of islands andaman and nicobar they are also group of island right second is peninsula peninsula is totally different from the island look what is the difference island is the piece of land that is surrounded by the water from all the sides but peninsula is actually the land that is surrounded by the water but from three sides from three sides it is covered by the water from one side it is covered by the land okay that is peninsula the southern most part or the south part of india is an peninsula right it is uh, covered by the arabian sea indian ocean and the bay of bengal means strikes into the water theek hai jo pani mein samudra mein ocean mein jata hai peninsula ka wo 
पॉइंट और वो पीस ऑफ लैंड दैट जॉइंस द वाटर दैट गोज इन टू द वाटर इज नोन एज द केप एंड द वेरी फेमस केप ऑफ इंडियन पेनिनसुला इज केप कोमोरन नेक्स्ट इज इस्टमस वट डू वी मीन बाय इस्टमस इस्टमस इज एक्चुअली द नैरो स्ट्रिप ऑफ लैंड नैरो स्ट्रिप ऑफ लैंड दैट कनेक्ट्स टू लार्जर लैंड मासिस एंड हैव वॉटर ऑन बोथ साइड राइट दैट इज इस्टमस एंड अ वेरी फेमस इस्टमस दैट इज इस्टमस ऑफ पेनामा दैट कनेक्ट्स द नॉर्थ and south america right that is known as isthmus opposite to isthmus there is strait what do we mean by strait strait is actually the narrow body of water connecting two larger bodies of water right that is strait and park strait separates india from sri lanka okay students i hope till now you all are clear with the concept now i have one homework for you all you need to prepare any one landform okay you can draw that landform you can do the project work you can prepare the landform with the help of clay sand okay you need to prepare one landform okay and whatever landform you will prepare that will be shown in the schools assembly whenever the school will reopen i will definitely show the best projects related to the landforms of the earth okay students this is up for today's chapter i hope you got all the points clear in this revision in this revision tutorial till then goodbye stay healthy stay safe at home and keep revising your things and prepare your model related to landforms of the earth okay students if you do not have material it's okay no need to worry you can draw any one landform on a4 size sheet beautifully